Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can use DeepSeek locally in our VS code to autocomplete and generate code so that we can use it without limitations. First, go to this URL and download this Olama. Once this is downloaded, just install this normally. Just follow the install instructions and you'll be good to go. Once this is downloaded, you can click here on the models to see what models you can use with Olama. So I'll search for DeepSeek Coder and there are a bunch of different versions available like 2.5, 2 and the basic one. So for a quick install, I'll just use this. You can use v2 or v2.5 later on. So now open command prompt and enter this command. Olama run deep seek coder and I'll use this one because this is smaller one and it'll be, it'll be done quickly. That is 1.3b. If you have good resources, you can use any one of these two ones. Okay. But if you don't have much CPU or RAM, this will not install, but you can try it out. Now just hit enter and this model will be downloaded. Okay. So once this model is successfully downloaded, it will take around uh, five minutes in your case. You will see uh, something like this, send a message or something. You can just send a message here like hello or whatever and you should get a response from deep seek coda and now let's just close this and let's use this in vs code so open your vs code click on this extensions or hit the shortcut Control shift x search for continue click on install click trust publisher now this is from continue.dev you can just click on this to check out their documentation and we will proceed once this is installed once this extension is installed now just click on this continue icon on the bottom left and you'll see something like this now I already had this model installed so I'm seeing this in your case you'll either see sign in or you'll see empty just click on this gear icon and you will see a config.json file open. But if you are not seeing config.json file and you are seeing something like this, just click on this plus icon. Click here on this model and click on add chat model. Here, click on config file and you will see something like this. Now you can just copy this, pause the video and copy this, or I'll just have this in the description below. You can copy and paste it from the description. And here, instead of the model that I'm written here, I have written here, just write the 1.3b or whatever model you have downloaded. So if you downloaded the 6.7b version or 33b version, just write 33b or 6.7b here and it will work. This is just the name, it can be anything, but just for recognition, I'll just write whatever it is here. So this is for autocomplete. Now if you want to chat, you can use a different model here. As you can see, I have two models here, okay? That can be used for chat and I can switch between them later on. I'll show you how to do that. Here, I'll just copy this because this is the model that we just downloaded, right? So in the model name, just use the model that you actually have downloaded. So if you have multiple models, you can use multiple models like I've written here, okay? So now we have installed DeepSeek and we are ready to use this in VS Code. Let's see this in action, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just disable my current extension first so I have this Gemini install for code complete. What I'll do is I'll just disable this so that only DeepSeek will be in action. So let me disable this for now. And let's write some code and let's see what DeepSeek does. Let's make this a .py file. So this is a Python file. Let's see what DeepSeek helps us with. So I'll just write a def add numbers and as you can see DeepSeek is already suggesting me and you can see continue here in action so I can just hit tab to run this and now it is already suggesting me this thing so hit tab again and as you can see now it is suggesting me to multiply so now I have this and DeepSeek is in action so for autocomplete DeepSeek is being used now what you can do is you can just chat here and for chat you can just switch like this and you can chat here. 
how to calculate factorial in Python okay so you can use this for chat now as you can see it requires more memory so it's not working right now and you can use a smaller model for this too so you can just download any model like we downloaded using command prompt and the list of models that you can use are available here and you can use any model here and you can just switch between the models like this okay and you can just go to the config file and define which model you want to use for autocomplete of code and which models you want to use for chat so this is how you can add DeepSeek to VS Code locally. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.